Hi, my name is Faye and I'm a senior surveyor at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors. Occasionally, I'm presented with a situation whereby there is a change of ownership midway through dealing with party wall matters. There is a lot of confusion over what should be done, particularly if an adjoining owner is in the process of selling their home and the Party Wall Act is silent on this matter. So let's take a look and see if we can shed some light on this relatively grey area of the Act. Firstly, it is important to understand that the building owner is the person carrying out notifiable works under the Act. For example, a building owner may propose to construct a single storey extension on their land and the excavations for their foundations may be within three metres of their neighbour's property and to a greater depth than its foundations. The adjoining owner is the person affected by those notifiable works. That could be the freeholder of the building, leaseholder or tenant. The rights granted under the Act are personal to the original properties that is, the building owner who served the party wall notices and the adjoining owner who received the notice and was given the opportunity to respond to the notice. This means that the rights and obligations do not attach to the land of each party. The difficulty is, one adjoining owner may not have issues or concerns with their neighbour's proposals, and therefore there is no dispute and they are happy to consent but someone else who wishes to purchase the adjoining owner's property may have their own reasons not to consent. If you are buying a building owner's property, you cannot rely on the party wall agreement made by the vendor, even if they consented. If you plan to complete the works proposed by the vendor, it would be sensible to serve your own party wall notices, assuming that you are not modifying the original building owner's proposals. It is likely that if you have a conversation with your new neighbour and build a relationship with them, they will probably also consent to your notices. If you are keen to move the process along, you can serve notices before completion at the exchange of contract. This is because you are considered an owner if you have the benefit of a contract for purchase. Similarly, if an adjoining owner dissented to the works, triggering the agreement of a party wall award, it would only be valid for the original parties and the party wall process must be started again. These scenarios are specific to changes of ownership before notifiable construction works have commenced. It would be very unusual for a change of ownership of the building owner's property to occur midway through your construction works. But if you are in this situation, I recommend that you reach out to an experienced party wall surveyor for advice specific to your situation. If you are a building owner and you know that the adjoining owner's property is up for sale, you must serve a party wall notice on your neighbour up until the point that the new buyer is under contract. If you haven't started your notifiable works and a buyer is under contract, you will need to start the process again and serve a notice on them. If notifiable works are complete, you will not need to serve a notice even if you have not completed the general building works. With party wall awards, although the Act is not entirely clear, it is generally accepted that the award transfers to any subsequent adjoining owners, but only if the award is valid. It is completely understandable that you might be worried how proposed construction works may impact the sale of your property. After all, you may have successfully found a buyer who is excited to move in, but then you must inform them that a potential dispute is about to occur. Or you might worry that the buyer may pull out at the moment you tell them construction works are about to start next door, which could be noisy and inconvenient. The advice I would give in this situation is to be honest from the start. Make sure that you have informed your solicitor about your neighbour's proposed works so that they can advise you and your buyer's solicitor can advise them. After all, they should have a good understanding of the Act and what this means for you as a vendor and your potential purchaser. We would also suggest that you seek advice from experienced party wall surveyor to ensure that you are making the right decision on whether to consent or dissent to party wall notices and to check that the notices are valid. Importantly, as soon as a party wall notice has been served on you, have a conversation with the buyer. It may be that the buyer has dealt with party wall matters before, 
either from a previous neighbour carrying out works or works they may have carried out to their own property. Equally, they may be hoping to extend their property once they purchase it and will have to deal with the party wall matters themselves. If you would like further help in regards to changing ownership and party wall matters, either as a building owner or an adjoining owner, our team of experienced party wall surveyors are here to help. Please feel free to give us a call on 023 8155 0051. We look forward to helping you.